spend it. I also would like to salute everyone on this third day of the conference. We have been here for three days and we have been listening to very valuable and very important discussions. And I am very convinced that these discussions are give us more inspiration in our time before us in, in terms of fighting capitalism. So I am the most extremist person in this room, which the University of uh, Hamburg uh, described me, because I was the reason for or excuse for the canceling the rooms. But for me, as a person, no rep repression, no, uh, no repression can stop me or turn me around me from my path. I will continue on this path. Despite, despite every difficulty that we have faced, we are now uh, realizing this conference. It is thanks to the aspiration and strong will of the people who are fighting in this uh, in this in this area. So. I think this is a great success that no one and no power can stop us. This is a very good evidence of it. Now I would like to talk to you about the topic. It's about resistance and also organizing yourself. Because on the way to the freedom fight, freedom struggle, we need a very strong front of resistance and you need a very strong network of solidarity. Of course, organi organizing yourself or be it's it can only be described within the scope of the term of society. Now we will talk about the social social sociality or becoming a society. It, in this in this framework we have to talk and discuss about because the human beings, like as human, we to, with the beings that we call human, can realize them, themselves in this society. So without a society, a being, a human being cannot continue his life. A person who becomes sociable, uh, he becomes a part of the society, is also in need of self-defense. And self-defense is a different terminal terminology that we can use for uh, uh, organization, because in order to be able to carry out your self-defense, you need to organize yourself. And thanks to these uh, abilities, human beings have been um, continuing living together for the for the thousand years, and they are also acting in the spirit of solidarity against any trouble, any any repression that they face, and it is a struggle for being a human and remaining a human. So we see that all these struck, all these repressions and atrocities happened by the nation states. It's not a it's not a coincidence but it's very intentional. And the op the people getting all the organized is it's a uh, nightmare of the capitalism. That's why they are trying to uh, alienate people, human beings, from their own separate, on their essence, and so that they can destroy the this uh, power of of resistance. The state, because they cannot stand an organized society, they are trying to. Uh, convince the society with a capitalist liberal uh, economy individual individualism is used uh, as a weapon against freedom so because the an unorganized individual is open to all attacks the individual uh, can become a devoid of devoid of solidarity and mechanism of resistance turns into a small fishes that can be easily swallowed by the system and individuals who are rendered helpless in the face of capitalist system who seek the cause of the problems arising from the system in their own inadequacy and failure and who approach freedom in a misguided way have now turned into colonized areas so a person 
what we do is that we our attitude our critique is against the so-called false person created by the capitalist system otherwise we are not criticizing the true being of the human human beings themselves so the, that's the part that i'm criticizing in contrary those individuals who are full of the desire and aspiration of freedom are the true uh, persons. They are the opposite of the persons or the personalities that the capitalist system is uh, ex imposing on us. As an alternative democratic modernity, and what is social, what is the society, and focusing on these, on these topics is Mr. Ojalan, who have been working in this field. And he describes it very uh, clear. It is seen that the nation state is tried to be sustained by developing the intervening of society, power, and the state through nationalism, sexism, religionism, and various science, sciencesms, and by drawing them into the paradigm of everyone is both power and society, both society and society. Thus, it is assumed that the solution for the bourgeois nation state has been found by suppressing the class war, class war internally and keeping the defense position open against the outside. This is the most prominent of the methods of suppression rather than sol problem solving that have been tried worldwide. We see that now, uh, eventually, the politics of the nation stands eventually turning into the politics of genocide. Despite the power of science, all these nationalism and all these isisms are getting even deeper and becoming like a cancer. So it becomes a society site. So people are, now we are actually experiencing a society side. Uh, we are on the, in a permanent condition of war. There are the, the women, the women's are always being targeted and the nation states are inciting the hatred among the different peoples. So these are, these eventually are altogether becoming a society side. And therefore, for this reason, humanity is forced to struggle with multiple crises, areas such as society side, eco side, or feminicide. And of course, the nation states, which are presented as a solution to all these crises, increase the danger with the illusion that they protect society and the individual and push the solution away. As the exploitation and domination policies of states develop, Societal problems deepen. Governments and the nation states are in a constant state of war with society. Okay, I was warned to speak slower, so I will respect that. Because capitalist modernity tries to turn society into a colony by encircling it from everywhere through power and uh, domination. domination. We have the resistance movements that they are led by the people who are who have internalized their moral values and they can stand against the capitalist immoral system. They have been fighting and they will continue because organized power makes the state smaller and makes the society bigger. This is also uh, Erjalan formulates in his book the sociology of, of freedom. It is a requirement of social nature that in every space and time where there is a capital accumulation and the power apparatus it creates, there must be a resistance against them and an alternative to them. Societies have never been without resistance and alternatives to capital accumulation and power apparatus in any place and time. I will try to slow down again for the sake of translation. 
with these moral and political values that exist in society, we can resist through them and claim, reclaim back what belong to us. The main thing that capitalist modernity has done against the society is to take away the ability of the society to govern itself and to market the nation state as an instrument of governance. However, social dynamics have always had the ability to govern themselves with democratic values. This is from the beginning of the humanity. Because a society that has been stripped of its ability to govern itself will not be able to avoid being colonized and will become the target of assimilation and genocidal policies. So freedom, equality, and democracy are only possible with the power of discussion, decision, and action of society that is made with their own consciousness and mentality. This is the power of society or, or to self-governance. It's not possible to achieve this w with any social engineering force. Resistance alone is not enough to destroy the modern hegemony and develop its alternative. It requires the mastery of building a counter-modernity, says Öcalan. Building counter-modernity is possible through democratic confederal structures where resistance and organization meet. The political form of democratic modernity is democratic confederalism that will keep all differences, identities, cultures, structures, and social dynamics together. This coexistence not only gives a society the ability to govern itself, again, with democratic values, but also paves the way for social freedom by downsizing the state. And Mr. Ergelan describes democratic confederalism as follows. Okay, I will just uh, wait for the friends translating. Yes. Mr. Ergelan describes democratic confederalism as follows. It is open to different and multi-layered political structures. Different horizontal and vertical political structures are necessary due to the complex structure of existing society. It holds together central, local, and regional politics, political structures in balance. Pluralistic political structures, as each of them responds to con concrete conditions are closer to finding the best solutions to societal problems. Cultural, ethnic, and national identities have a right to express themselves through political organizations. More precisely, this is a requirement of a moral and political society. It is open to agreements of principle with traditions of state, whether it is in the form of a nation or of nation states coexist on the basis of principled peace. So, of course, we can use all the uh, possibilities or the structures of this democratic structure of the bourgeois. It is, it is that we we have the role to become a part of these processes. So it's not only criticizing or evaluating these structures, but we can become a part of it and use uh, use this opportunity to become a part of this decision-making procedure. Uh, using this opportunity, I would like to talk about my political party, HDP, People's uh, Democratic Party. It's the third biggest uh, pol uh, opposition party in Turkey. And we welcome all the different ethnicities, religions, and other, ide other identities uh, to itself. So this is a society that Turkish government have been uh, polarizing the society for the last decade, more, more several decades. We bring all these marginalized or alienated identities together and combine them under the umbrella of HDP. So against the, all the policies, monoist policies that the state 
ex uh, imposes on us, we are showing that they can, uh, and it's a platform, it's a, like a mutual front re of resistance of the Kurdish uh, freedom movement and the Turkish leftist movements. Despite all the dynamics, we create a mutual uh, area of, of, of resistance against the, the, uh, at, at the attacks of the capitalist system, including uh, kinds of uh, attacks that we face from the capitalist system. These are all the outcomes. What we represent is a society beyond these monist policies of the of the state, because we are a society demanding freedom for women. We are demanding the equal representation, and the youth and the democratic modernity of the confederal system. When I am talking about when I was talking about it at the beginning, I said it is. It's the ability of a society to govern itself. So, party, we had uh, more than 100 municipalities in the Kurdish regions in Turkey, and we, by winning the elections and running these municipalities, we proved the ability of the society of governing itself. But as a response, what we got from the state, all these municipalities have been confiscated and the uh, trust, um, trustees were assigned to run the municipalities because we use the municipalities very actively to organize the society and the women were present in those municipalities and it was also uh, another reason why the state targeted our Kurdish municipalities because they couldn't stand the role that women played within this COP, within the this local uh, administrations at the municipalities. And also, there are multiple identities that we gather. This also considered as a threat by the government, by the state. That's why they are increasing their attacks. Actually, uh, yesterday at one of the workshops, I made it, uh, I talked about it thoroughly. After the recent earthquake, we realized another reality after the, after the earthquake. The power, the ability of the society of helping each other, aiding each other, uh, showing solidarity was much beyond the borders that set by the states because they even want to um, limit or bring the solidarity and the help under their own control and they were insufficient so the society had to organize itself and support each other irrespective of their ethnic religious or cultural backgrounds so we proved it that we are able we are capable of doing this and the policies of the state is the actual reason of because of so much destruction so much death and uh, lost uh, the lives lost but we saw that even before the state moved the civil society the other parts of society were already mobilized and present uh, uh, on the side to help people so but we know that any uh, any movement is in touch with the uh, liberation of women and society and uh, federalism all in these old regions where we are good organized we saw that the people were mobilized within ours and they were present on site to help people so this is this is the evidence of the power of the democratic modernity and the power of the organized society despite all the de all the repressions despite all the policies of the state of destruction policies we prove it once again that they couldn't erase us so it gives us hope for future of course 
uh, during this time of uh, providing aid with the victims of the municipal of the earthquakes they tried to prevent us they confiscated one of our aid center it was a gem house which is a temple for the Alevites. they even confiscated and they assigned someone from the S minister of interior to run this uh, center for help they wanted to prevent us but yet the social solidarity that became so powerful that we proved it that we are not in need of the uh, help from the state. We don't depend on the help from the state. We are enough for ourselves. So this also showed that freedom is possible through organization and through resisting. As Öcalan says, we can only overcome a system that is constantly fueled or fed by war inside and outside of the society by embracing our utopias of freedom, by creating meaningful uh, focus of resistance and justice everywhere against the ever-present abuse and power. All other paths seem to have no results, no goal other than the consuming life in a vicious circle. The only path is organizing ourselves and